American Southwest is scattered with towns that seem to have stood still while the rest of the world rolled on by. Shadows of better times before the interstate highways bypassed their main streets and made relics of their local businesses. But some old towns are actually doing pretty good, especially those that have embraced the arts, music, and the creative side of life, with a little sense of humor thrown in for good measure. In the Oregon Mountains of Las Cruces is a trail that takes you to the Dripping Springs. Just beyond the springs are the ruins of Boyd Sanatorium, a refuge for sufferers of tuberculosis in the early 20th century. Well, some claim the spirits of those tortured souls still inhabit the ruins, all I can say is there are some pretty weird noises echoing those walls. Ah, it's a gorgeous evening. I love camping out in the uh, the pines and the cedars and the junipers. I just love that scent. Along with boondocking and camping and nature and all that, I have another passion. And that's music. But uh, I like all kinds of music. But in particular, I like uh, old American music, especially that from the, uh, the early 20s, 30s. The, uh, the roots music, folk music, hillbilly music, whatever. And uh, a lot of time when I'm on the road, I go through flea markets and junk shops and antique shops and looking for old 78s just to see what I can find. And uh, this trip was no exception. I got some really good stuff. The Escarete Drive-In is a relic of the 50s that is now a weekend flea market. No 78s, but a great place for fake Mexican guitars that are made in China. Swap meets and antique malls are all through the south, but it is Yuma and Globe where I found my best stuff. In order to, uh, to play that stuff and also for an effort to enjoy times like this, I actually brought my old phonograph. This isn't anything very fancy, it's just an old wind-up phonograph. Probably, I'd say probably mid-30s, uh, but uh, it's pretty easy to operate. It's got a crank. And it's going to find out where to put it. There we go. And you crank it up. There's no electricity on this. It's, uh, it's just an old clockwork spring. Wind it up like that. And uh, usually plays with a steel needle, but I'm actually playing it with a cactus needle like a real cactus needle. This is from a ciguero cactus. I uh, just gotta sharp dry it out uh, and sharpen the point and it actually plays a record, believe it or not. And uh, to prove that, I'm gonna show it to you. But, look at this. Got these old 78s. Got uh, Nick Lucas, the original tip, Tiptoe Through the Tulips from the 20s. Uh, H.E. Sweet. I uh, got some Jelly Roll Morton, some Bessie Smith. I've got to give you some. I mean, that's got to be good. Ukulele Lee, Stagley Blues Part 1 and 2. Uh, it just goes on and on. I mean, I got some really good stuff. I got 2478s, all really good music from like the 20s. My father, who's long deceased, was born in 1913. And so he grew up in the 20s and 30s. And uh, when I was a young kid, he used to play harmonica to me. And I used to love it, but when I started appreciating music later on, you know, in the late 60s, early 70s, and you listen to the Stones and Led Zeppelin and some blues bands, I never understood where he got that harmonica sound from because it didn't sound like anything I'd ever heard. And it wasn't until I started collecting these old 78s that I figured it out. Uh, it's just amazing what you can find when you look for it. 
but I also got a trumpet. Now believe it or not, I only paid five bucks for this. And no, I'm not going to try to play it. It's just for show. It's just for a decoration. But uh, I love the old music. I love the old blues. And uh, yeah, finding those 78s, it's a score. Uh, maybe I'll play them later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play an old 78. This one's called Wreck of the Old 97. Now, along with... Uh, records or uh, sorry along with uh, playing the harmonica my dad also played the jews harp and this is his actual jews harp it's probably about a hundred years old and he did teach me to play that so while i'm uh, playing the record i might try playing the jews harp as well let's see if i can get her to go But the Jews harp can wait. Let's first take a visit to the Gila Cliff Dwellings in New Mexico. 750 years ago, the local indigenous people decided to build shelters in the eroded pockets of the canyon. The corn in these baskets was left over from the ancient people, perhaps to feed the spirits that remained. If you look closely, you'll see a likeness of one painted on the side of the cave. One of the best places for petroglyphs is Petrified Forest National Park in Arizona. The old Santa Fe Railroad is now Amtrak as it cuts through the petrified forest. And here's another old relic from the early days of Route 66. But what can top a relic that's 225 million years old? This tree stood tall when the dinosaurs roamed the forest. There you go, wreck of the old 97. So before I put my old phonograph away, I wanted to show you something I thought was really, really cool. I was at the Welcome Center in El Paso, Texas, and uh, I got these two flyers. One's from Vernon, the other's from Dalhart, and when you put them together, you get Vernon Dalhart, 
the same guy who did the wreck of the old 97. Now, is that cool or what? I thought it was cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this adventure. I always appreciate your feedback. Please check out my other videos as well. And happy camping.